Good morning. Almost good afternoon, but hey. Better late than never, right? Happy Tuesday. How does it feel? I mean, I, I wake up like everybody else, crusting my eyes and shit. I gotta wash my face and shit. You know how that shit go. Gotta recurl my hair. Blah, 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 blah. Just not having my cup of coffee, so I'm having a late day. But good morning. It's Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Taylor Tuesday. Uh, we're not going to have a tough Tuesday today, okay? We're going to act like we got some sex. Titty Tuesday. right twerk tuesday well you know where you can go to find that you know there is no twerking here i don't think i really have to repeat myself too many times on that y'all we do this shit all the time it's been like that for the past year and some change so with that being said if you want to see some twerking and working baby i am mad at you i made a whole site specifically for you you can exit your way up out of here and find your way there. It is IamTaylorMade.com and you're just gonna click that link that says exclusive content, okay, baby? And you can see twerking, working, titties, pussy, a whole lot of shit there, okay? But you're not gonna see it here. Yes, Chicago is coming up. I am from and currently reside in Detroit. What is my sign? A Taurus. I'm 5'7", because normally that's the question to follow. I roughly weigh about 195 pounds. I have one kid. And no, I do not eat pork. This is beef bacon, okay? For my hardcore, oh my God, you eat pork. I am eating some beef bacon. I'm about to scramble me some eggs and have a bagel. Well, thank you. I hope that God continues to bless you as well. You know, the weather is about to break in the city. Uh, you can get beef bacon from the, is it the farmer's market? Down, what the fuck is that called downtown? That, you know, that market downtown or believe it or not, you find it in most of the inner city stores. Um, where you know the uh, middle eastern people reside at because you know they don't eat pork so that's typically where i can find mine from no yeah well like i said i i i shop where you know people they can only eat beef so they be having beef pepperonis turkey pepperoni all that great stuff and then, like I said, I go downtown and grab it. On um, grass shit, yeah. And honestly, for my people who 
because you know I know a lot of people that are like oh I don't want to eat pork no more but I just can't give up bacon it's just bacon you'll be surprised on the similarity in it and it'll help you transition a lot faster oh, well thank you I love her she's great thank you thank you so what are y'all plans for today Please don't get outside acting crazy because the weather about to break. I already, look, I think it was yesterday I started hearing motorcycles. I'm like, yep, it's that time. She, uh, well, that's fine. I, I, baby, let's not, I'm not, I'm not tripping, you know, I'm, I'm a non-competitive player. If you feel like somebody's better, baby, I am not mad because that just means you're not for me. And ladies, y'all gotta, um, well, thank you for the compliment, but we're not, I, we don't do that. You know, what's for us is for us and what's not is for not. If a man ain't into me and he likes somebody else better, baby, have that. Cause I want a nigga that want me, you feel me? Um, Am I a vegan? Fuck no, I'm not a vegan. I think I would be a little bit skinnier if I was a vegan. But I... So let me see. I jumped from 140 to 180. There was no in between. Uh, <laughs> so it was like, boom. I was little. But even technically, I still wasn't little because I was 140 in, in high school. Um, so I hit puberty, freshman year of college, jumped straight to 180. Um, and, and then after that, I actually got all the way up to 220 pounds and now I'm back down to like 195 ish. How many pairs of PSD do I own? Probably a couple hundred. Do your ass a 360 and go to my website if you want to look at some ass. Well, other than that, you just going to get what the fuck I'm giving, okay? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How tall am I? 5'7". Five, 5'7", seven. Five, seven, one kid. 195 pounds I wouldn't consider myself a little person thank you now if we could just get PSD to let me be a brand ambassador we're moving in the right direction right am I married no I am not and don't plan on being anytime soon unless you want to be a third husband because right now I got two men I'm willing to open the door for a third one but you have to be able to live um, in harmony with the rest of them okay so if you're not a team fucking player don't hit my line oh. next person that tell me to turn around I'm blocking you okay shut up and just relax <laughs> Thank you, thank you for, thank you. Thank you for telling them. <clears throat> However, I will tell you the perks of, you know, being on the team. You're never hungry. I keep your hair cut, you know. I wash clothes, all that great shit, rub your feet, your back and shit like that, you know. I told y'all the next person that told me to turn around, I was blocking so your ass can go. Because I, I don't feel like this shit today. Okay? Anybody else? Y'all want to hold hands and sing Kumbaya in this bitch? Let me know. Do I love seafood? Yes. Yes, I do. Team Taylor May, baby. You know? 
no, 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 I'm not cutting your hair. I said, I'll keep your hair cut, meaning I pay for your haircuts and shit. Pay to keep you well groomed, all that shit. Shit your woman's supposed to do anyway. Yes, I can really make mac and cheese. <laughs> I can make the sounds without the actual meal. And yes, I can make the meal. Um, nevertheless, nevertheless, like I said, it's one spot open. If you're interested, you can join the team. And baby, if you need a couple thousand, you are already behind. You have to be able to at least bring a couple thousand to the table. I've always said, you got to bring the business plan, all right? You got to add to it, okay? You got to add to it. Now, if that's all you got, that's cool, but we're going to make a plan. We're going to put a plan together so that your money continues to make money. But no, I'm not just going to hand out no fucking money because you may be irresponsible. You may make poor decisions. You may be a nigga that gets dressed to just take photos in the mirror or have your homeboys take pictures of you. I can't just be giving thousands of dollars to niggas like that. However, my men are well taken care of. They some high class hoes, you know? They expensive. Motherfuckers is expensive, okay? But it's a give and get situation. Okay, you got the business plan for your restaurant? And can you cook? You feel me? You gotta be able to cook. Nah, for real, y'all, my niggas is not cheap. They not. I be like, damn. You look good though, baby. I see you with your fresh hair cut. I be so tired of looking at these other girls' niggas look raggedy. Like, bitch, why you not getting your nigga hair cut? Like, what's wrong? Why he got dirt under his fingernails? Why you not clipping his fingernails? Okay, you don't want to pay for the manicure, bitch. Do the manicure yourself. How hard is that? Okay, well, you know, you can always feel free to email my business email. I am tailormade at gmail. If you're really serious, you can shoot me your business plan and I'll have my attorney look over it. How far can you live? Um, I don't really have a restriction. It's all contingent on how, you know, how much time you need. Or, you know, like, we'll figure out the logistics of things later. Of course. Of course I still treat the man. I don't... I'm not treating a man who don't got his own. You know, I just like with me. I don't expect a man to treat me to anything that I can't afford myself. So if I want to go sit at the bar at Primer Proper and eat, or Ruth Chris or Eddie V's and eat, I'm going to do that regardless. So, you know, I'm not going to ask the man to buy for some shit that I cannot buy. And it's just flat like that. So, yeah, he, of course, he's got to have his own. He's got to have something. You got to bring something to the table. But we need to be able to bring something together collectively so we can all make money. You feel me? No, I won't say he's not a man if he doesn't have his own. It's just sometimes people go through rough patches or... People get influenced by the wrong people. You gotta think social media and 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 life right now is it, that's some hell of a pressure. Cause you got all these people having all these other people believing that they're living these wonderful, fantastic fucking lives that they're really not. And that can be a lot of pressure to someone who feels like you know, and then then it's the nerve of the people who don't even live that life for real that try to frown and talk down and talk shit to somebody. And it's like, 
last time I checked, sis, your rent was $3,200, okay? And you make $17 an hour. Factoring, you have to feed yourself. And this is if you have no children, okay? Seven, at $17 an hour, but you're paying rent to live somewhere. You're paying an excessive amount just to say you live in this particular area. Only making 17 to, let's say, cap max out at $20 an hour. You're not factoring the food to feed yourself. You're not factoring your utilities, um, gas, and everyday needs of life. So you're living above your means with just that, just to say you live somewhere. So now let's factor in the fact that you require a man to, he got to buy designer bags. You got to be in designer shoes. All because what? Because you make $17 an hour? Fuck no. Fuck no. Hey, fuck no, bitch. Get your shit together. Your priorities, fucking shit, okay? Priority shit. It's okay. It's okay to get you an apartment that's like a grand. It's just you. You know, you can find really not. Well, I don't know if it's a grand anymore. Let's say like 1500 okay? But I live in a house. I live in a house. Um, I live in one of my nine houses. Um, <laughs> I live in one of my nine homes, so let's be clear on that. Even if I did fall all the way down, fucked up, lose every dollar I have, one thing we cannot replicate is land mass, right? Can't replicate land mass. So, in the event that I lost every single dollar that I have or got fucked up, I have eight properties that I could sell and still have a home to live in that I only have to pay taxes on. You feel me? So, sometimes you just got to make shit make economical sense. Sometimes you got to walk away from the bag and do what's best for you. Sometimes you got to hold off on the shoes and pay off something to build your credit. You feel what I'm saying? So, thanks guys. So, with that being said, you know, even and then don't feel like you got to run out and go grab yourself a million dollar house. Because at the end of the day, you still have a mortgage and you still have taxes on top of that mortgage. So don't put yourself a million dollars in debt with a, I don't know, let's say maybe your taxes are between 12 and 20 grand a year. Because that's an additional, even when you pay your house off, that's still an additional 20 grand that you have to make a year. So if you get fucked up and can't work, depending on how much you put into social security, even if you're eligible for it, I don't even know that they pay out 20 grand a year. So that's why I say there's nothing wrong with living comfortably. Sometimes you have to. Sometimes you have to, you know, it's okay. It's all right. A motherfucker might wanna be like, oh, this, oh, that. Hey, bro, if I get fucked up, all I got to worry about is these taxes, okay? That's it. And I'm sure I can hustle, figure it out to pay these motherfucking taxes flat out. I mean, Mr. J, I, I, I absolutely agree with you. There is no possible way, but I'm telling you that there are ladies out there living like that. And that's where it comes in. They require a man to pick up that slack. So I, I, I knew that. When I threw those numbers around, I absolutely already knew she is not unable. That's why I said, I mean, that she's not able. That's why I said she was living above her means. But a lot of times, girls want to look like money, so they'll live above their means. So when a man does step into their life, they can set an expectation that this is what 
oh yeah, this is how I'm living, this is what I'm doing, so what can you do for me? And ladies, I know it's some ladies that's going to be mad at me for that, but you really can't even afford what you live in. Like, but you want it. They want to paint the perception that they can so they immediately try to tell the dude like okay yeah this is how i'm living so if you gonna fuck with me this is how you gotta come with it mm. not good put yourself in a very bad situation don't have a car don't have a place to, to to live none of that so um so yeah so that's all I'm saying priority check you feel me that's all ladies are um extremely misguided like I said but I the pressure of The pressure of social media, though, puts that on them. The pressure of social media, the pressure of following celebrities. Um, am I like this all the time? I'm actually probably better in person. <laughs> um, but um, the pressures of society makes people feel like it's not okay to be themselves um so i i get it and some people are not you know they're they're not mentally there yet to be like fuck it and fuck what people gotta say you're right they're not ready to make the sacrifice because they're too scared of what a person is gonna have to say about them but listen i'll be the first to tell you fuck what people have to say because at the end of the day, you only get one life. And if you're living it for other people, baby, you're wasting your life. Oh, yeah, I got to be a little mean. But most of the time, I'm pretty cool. Understand, I'm only giving off bad energy when someone else gives me some bad energy. You feel me? Like, that's the only time. Normally, I'm chilling. But if you come in here on that rah rah shit, baby, I am so disrespectful. I mean, yeah, they're. But, you know, I guess success, though. Success has a different meaning to people. So it could sound like they're not being successful, but they kind of feel like they playing the game that's going to make them successful. So like I said, it, society has a very big influence on that. Hey, Danny Boo, how are you, love? Seeing you've been doing your thing going on Instagram. What is my nationality? Black, African American, Negro. Um, I don't think there's another way I can say it. And please, guys, don't tell me I look mixed. I'm gonna let you know right now. There's nothing more insulting to a black woman to than to tell her she looks like she's mixed with something. Okay. At the end of the day, all them bitches that look like us look like they mix with black okay it's never a compliment to tell a girl she looks like she's mixed with something regardless of what features she may have that looks like it i'll let you know yes i might have chinky eyes if you go to extremely remote parts of asia um thailand uh even china you will see that they have black Chinese people, very brown, okay, dark skin brown too, you know. Um, so please miss me with the you look like you're mixed, okay? I don't give a fuck about that. I want to look like a black girl, okay? Black girl magic. They look like us.
Yes. And keep saving. Fuck the outside influence. Because then I'll tell you this. Alright. This is how bad society has got with shit. Let's say you chose to buy the um the shoes instead. Um the shoes and clothes instead. I'll say you get a good solid two max three wears out of them, right? One where you can post the full outfit on, all right? Two where you have split the outfit and now you got the shoes on in another picture, you got the pants on in another picture, and you may have the shirt on in another picture, all right? And then by the third time, motherfuckers got the nerve, and this is the crazy part, people will legitimately have the nerve to be to be like damn that's all you got is that the only bag you got then the only pair of designer shoes you got and you be like bitch but, but you don't even have a car like but you sleep on your friend's couch like but you trying to say that's all I got? Bitch, at least I got something. So, that's why I said, why waste that shit? Because, motherfucker, they are going to criticize you regardless. Shouts out to Ch Chicago. I will see you guys April 29th to May 1st. No, I do not remember you. Um, No, I'm not about to jump. You want to get blocked? If you don't, I suggest you jump your ass the fuck out my live and go on to IamTaylorMade.com and click the exclusive content link um but with that being said they'll try to criticize you and be on some that's all you got shit and it's like bitch don't come for me at least i got like at least i stepped out a little bit bitch you stepping out and going to sleep on somebody else's couch at the end of the night what the fuck is we talking about right now like what like that should that should be beyond me. I am part of the Exotica Expo. Yes, I do interviews. I conduct interviews, um, and photo shoots. Thank you so much. Oh shit. I perfectly cooked bagels. in my brunch but yes to continue where we left off I can't live for other people um the goal is to live comfortably and, and build a future um where you can live comfortably <laughs> I 
come to Baton Rouge. I actually fuck with Baton Rouge. I fuck with Louisiana in general. Y'all know my, my, if my husband wasn't married to the love of his life, I'd probably be down there. Do I have kids? I have one son. Yes. And thank you for the compliment. What's good? How's it hanging? Uh, you had to, um, you had to win a VIP ticket, boo. I've actually been to, um, I've been to Charlotte. Who is this husband that I speak of? Um, he's already married and I respect their marriage so much. But if his wife ever decided, you know, they wanted a, a you know, a sister wife. Air, all my niggas is cut off. I'm going there. And if you've been following me long enough, y'all know who I'm talking about. Am I married? No. I'm not married. Okay, you're blocked because I told you ain't no ass shaking. And if a motherfucker asks me, you're getting blocked. So shake your ass to my motherfucking I am Taylor Made. That's what I want to see. Dot com. Anybody else want to go? Because I got time today. Shouts out to Trinidad. I see y'all. Am I in love with someone? Um, yeah, he got blocked. Not, uh, I was. I was in love with someone. I was very in love with someone. But they broke my heart. So now I'm a dog ass bitch. <laughs> no. Shouts out to Indianapolis. Am I in Atlanta? No. I am in Detroit. Rapping for the city of Detroit. The one and only D. Alright. You feel me? The one and only D. How do I feel about Libras? I've always had a really good rapport with, um, no, I'm not sponsored by them yet. Well, thank you. I try to be. I told you, you greet me with good energy, I greet you with good energy. Um, no, I'm not sponsored by PSD yet. No, I don't know him. I think New Jersey is in October. That's when I'll be in Jersey. Oh, I have a good rapport with Virgos, Libras, Scorpios, Sagittarius, and Capricorns. It's a no for me on Aquarius, Aries, no, Aquarius, Pisces, and Aries, and Leos. And maybe a cancer. Firm nose for me. I'll pass. I'm going to treat you like trash. So. Oh, and no, no, I have a good report with Gemini's. My son's father is a Gemini. Um, we coexist. I can't date, but we can be the best of friends. But my son's father is one of my best friends. My mother is an Aquarius. I've had a lifetime of y'all. I'm straight. When am I coming to New York? Um, I'll probably only be flying there to get to New Jersey. 
Oh, and I would never date a tourist. I'm a tourist. I do not like tourist men. And I ain't gonna lie, I done met some tourist females that I don't like either. Like, bitch, how is me and you the same sign? I don't never understand that shit. But whatever. But I am technically all my sign says about me. Unfortunately, I'm too loyal because I'll be extremely loyal to a situation before my loyalty is earned. Um, and then honestly, I'll be loyal too long after a situation had was supposed to have been deaded. So that's a good and bad thing. Fuck to do, I don't know, which sign are you? Aries, I'm straight. Hell the fuck, fuck no. Pisces, hell the fuck, fuck no. Um, I'm gonna go hell the fuck, fuck no on Leo's too. Always have me fucked up. The mirror always had me fucked up. And I'm not one of those, um, Relax, chill, girly girls. I'm too good for that. I'm one of those bitch. I'll tear this bitch up. And I already called my lawyer to let him know I was on some bullshit. So we can do this shit however you want to do it. So I'm saving y'all. It's not, it's me. I'm just saving us. Mm, I'm blocking you. Told y'all, y'all gonna quit this turn around shit. Turn your ass to IamTaylorMade.com. Um, lock. Anybody else wanna go? What's up, baby? Would I consider myself ghetto? Um, I would consider myself an intellectual thug, um, is what my mother likes to refer to me as. Um, the word ghetto, if we look at the latest series, um, Power with Tariq, if you guys, I, I don't know what her actual name was, I can't remember what her actual name was in the series but y'all know light like skin Keisha the way she spoke she was very articulate very smart of course with them being in the school that they had to be in you had to be that way however she spoke with a aggression she spoke Ebonics frequently but I don't feel like that made her ghetto that's part of our culture so um be cool because I don't know how to take that comment and it can be demeaning and a tad bit crass before you want to say ghetto okay uh ebonics is part of the culture and i can adapt if i need to go sit in the room with the fucking suit on and pitch whatever i need to pitch i'm gonna make that shit happen if i need to go and tell somebody they got me fucked the fuck up that'll happen too so relax when you want to say ghetto okay I didn't say Ebonics was a ghetto language. I was replying to a comment where someone says, do you think that I'm considered, that, that I consider myself ghetto because I'll tell somebody they got me fucked up? No, I have a very extensive vocabulary. I can talk to whoever the fuck I need to talk to and get my point across. I can articulate myself very well. Nevertheless, I do not stray away from Ebonics because that is part of the culture. It's the same reason why, like Denzel said, you should have black directors directing black movies. Because if you're directing the scene where they're shooting back in the day, where your mom is pressing your hair with the real presser combs, 
that used to sit on the stove, only a black woman and a black person can relate to what that smells like when you got the grease and your mama's blowing the pressing cone, okay? She blowing it before she put it on your head and then she, as she puts it through your head, okay? Ebonics. Yes, I can draft. I can draft. Listen, let me tell you something. Just to clear this up. Um, soon as I pass statistics, I'll have a master's degree in business. So you can call me ghetto all you like. Um, but again, don't ever get it twisted and don't ever have me fucked up. Ebonics is a part of the culture. And if you feel like you're above speaking it, then you're taking away from yourself. Okay. That's what I said. My mama calls me an intellectual thug. Because <laughs> I told y'all I will I know how to get my point across and tell you I'm fucked you got me fucked up at the same time. Hey Diva. Thank you, Blaze. Yes, we don't, we, we need to stop labeling ourselves. Then on top of that too, I think I've, I've even blocked people for saying you speak white or first of all, you sound dumb as fuck. And if you have not, do not ever tell a black person they sound like they're white. Okay. That is one of the most disrespectful things that you can say because speaking educated without ignorance does not mean somebody sounds white because you can speak ebonics and still articulate yourself okay and honestly if you're going to make it anywhere in life you need to learn how to do both you don't even have to tell nobody because i know that shit doesn't look cool you know you wanting to you <laughs> you wanting to learn new words and implement them into your vocabulary there's nothing wrong with it all right um, honestly, I have a, an app that sends me new words every day in meetings and I try to use them at least for a week so I can become familiar with them. Because if you ever want to be successful in life, there's going to come a time where you're going to have to be in a conversation. And, and, and even if someone uses a word and you don't happen to know what it is, you need to at least at the very minimum have the analytical skills to dissect how the word was used that way you can get a gist a gist of what the actual meaning meant right so say and 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 hopefully everybody under here understood what i just said hopefully i articulated that in the proper fashion so basically to uh in in layman's terms you're going to want to pay attention to the words that surrounded the words that you did that, that surrounded the word that you didn't know all right and that should give you an understanding of what that particular word meant but i'm i will tell you right now i'm not above i've had somebody say some shit to me and i'll i'll roll with it because i understood you know what they were saying but I ain't gonna lie afterwards, I'll go back and look that shit up. Like, hold the fuck on, what did this word mean? And then, cool, I have a new word to add to my vocabulary. There's nothing wrong with it. But I will tell you, if you want to be successful, you have to learn how to speak the language. You have to learn how to adapt. You have to learn how to articulate. You have to learn how to make everybody comfortable. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with making motherfuckers uncomfortable. But... You are right, and I've even been faced with a person felt like I was trying to belittle them or talk down to them because of the way that I spoke, and I told them that's not it at all. I, won't, I don't correct people. 
um, often because they'll take offense to it. But it's like if I'm your friend or your partner, your lover, whatever, and you're doing something wrong, no matter what it be, no, no matter what it may be, if it's you using the word wrong or you're doing something wrong or if something you're doing is just fucked up. I should be able to tell you because the last thing you want is you go do or say this shit in front of somebody that know you that don't know you and then you look like a fucking idiot now you're embarrassed you want to get blocked asking me to turn around it's going to get you blocked four of them went already today say that hey you can be sex and yes mark some people just don't like that shit <clears throat> they don't um they don't they feel like uh i'd rather go get somebody who's not and then the great thing about me is i come from a life and i come from a background where I also understand the streets. I've been through a lot. I've seen a lot. I have two brothers in prison. One was doing a life sentence. The other one was supposed to do a life sentence, but by the grace of God, he is getting out on a hell of a techni <laughs> technicality. Um, I've had one friend of mine beat a conspiracy charge that was going to give him a life sentence and he beat it himself. He went to prison, got in that library, read knowledge is key. He appealed his, his case and he wanted himself. He was his own representation, okay? That's why I need you to understand no matter who you are, no matter what your background is, Knowledge is key. Knowledge is key. I cannot stress that to you enough. But like I said, I a lot of people don't know my real background. But I've had the same phone number since I was 15 years old. Because these men who helped raise me are serving a life sentence. Okay? It's a good chance that well, my one good chance he may never come home. Hopefully that's not the truth, but even when he does come home, he will have missed the best years of his life. I never want him to make a phone call and nobody answers. So I will keep that number forever, just in case. I send him books, you know, we'll talk about what I've been reading. I send them pictures when I go on trips of what the world looks like because unfortunately he uh, is not able and was not able to experience the world. And I'm not talking about the United States. I'm talking about the world, okay? So when I go places, a lot of times taking pictures, not for just me, not for just Instagram, but I'm taking pictures for these men who cannot live. So they're living through me. You feel me? So understand. Knowledge is key. All right. Um, you never know someone's background. All right. Can't live for other people. Thank you. Thank you, Bird. Bro, whatever the fuck makes you happy, okay? 
Listen, I had never seen anyone beat a conspiracy charge either, but he did. And he beat that shit by himself. That shit was amazing to me. Do I do these talks often? Most of the time, um, when I don't have people in here being dumb. Um, you know, I still got a lot of gems that I haven't dropped, you know, so we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Right now, the world is so fucked up. The world is so fucked up. I don't want to charge people. I really want them to just pick up the free shit. I don't even want to charge people. Because the world is fucked up. Ladies lost in the sauce. My fellas is <clears throat> getting lost in the sauce. They starting to dress like the ladies. Y'all know how I feel about them chokers and them tight ass jeans and shit. Boys can't breathe. Right now I'm trying to give out the free game. Hopefully they'll absorb it. So when I get to hitting them with the real shit, at least I know they picked up just a little bit on the light shit. You feel me? Right now we not in the position. I ain't gonna lie. Not in the position to charge. Not. The shit that I say right now. The light shit goes way over their head. Okay, we got the motherfucking Kyle Taylor jumping over the fucking moon in this bitch. Okay, because they not even picking up on the light shit. Well, yeah, it's the people, of course. But I mean, as a whole, we're still fucking people are fucking up the world. Social media, fucking shit up. You know, um, social media has also taken the real, it has taken the real grind and hustle out of people on oh, some real shit. Stay focused. Stay focused. Bring it back in. Um, so right now, like I said, it's not the time for me to charge. I need people to pick up the free shit. That way when I get to drop a real gems and real, real shit, they'll be like, you know what? Yeah, we on point. We on point. Because right now that shit, like I said, I just turned to the side and about seven people lost whole fucking, their whole train of thought. So... But in the meantime, um, I got a few things coming, a few, a few, few real gems that's going to drop. Um, hopefully my ladies will pick up on it cause it's more for them. Um, hoping it would encourage them to get their hustle on more than sack chasing what a man got that way when y'all do find your significant other you find a partner in her versus a liability in her um, that way <laughs> that way uh, she can help you grow your business or at least contribute to it. But like I said, social media, the world, people are just so fucked up right now and discombobulated about a lot of things that they think that good life. This is the good life I'm supposed to have. All right. And I don't want to do no work for it. This how it's supposed to come. Yes, there are a lot of rappers and entertainers out now. So it makes it easier, but these same rappers and entertainers would have never survived the 90s. Why? They wasn't out pushing their CDs. Y'all remember, I watched well, some of y'all don't, but my people who are early 90s, you know, on back. Y'all remember the CD man. Y'all remember the one who was selling DVDs, you know, 
y'all a lot of people would never understand that hustle them trying to get themselves out there t taking donations for their music like look just anything you got even if you don't got it fuck it it's free just listen to it just listen to it they'll never understand that grind I'm way ahead of you, bird. Right, that's when Blockbuster was around. Uh, so, like I said, they'll never understand the real hustle. They'll never understand when you would go to the movies and your man's had his camcorder, right? Fuck all that, the camcorder. Recording the movie, okay? Um, VCRs, right? There's a lot of shit that a lot of these people will never understand. You know, I've already talked about the evolution of the cell phone. Like I said, it's changed the game. It's changed the way people really hustle. The drive, the determination. What I'll never understand is how... The United States minimum wage is still $7.25 and we have gallons of gas that are peaking, you know, and it's contingent on where you're located at, but peaking $6 and $7. That means you're making minimum wage to buy a gallon of gas to get to work and you think this lavish fucking lifestyle is about to be handed in? to you you're in for a real motherfucking awakening yes don't change the fucking channel while I'm recording and then don't let your shit get fucked up and you had to rewind it back yeah that's what I'm talking about uh, <laughs> nevertheless you guys we have been on here for an hour thank you for tuning in with me like I said it's Tuesday taco Tuesday Taylor Tuesday a little titty Tuesday but what we're not gonna have is a tough Tuesday okay so make today a great day every day is gonna be a good day I got that from a good friend of mine um, in the meantime please if you can support my other platforms all of which can be found on IamTaylorMade.com. We got YouTube, all right, I OnlyFans, Twitter, TikTok, Twitch. Um, I also have my backup page, I am Taylor May. That's no underscores. I feel like there is another platform that I'm missing, but if it is, like I said, all of those can be found on I am TaylorMade.com. That is I am TaylorMade.com. Please feel free. To hit my DM if you have topics that you would like to discuss or general business inquiries. Please do not flood my shit with no D pics, no what are you doings, and no can I take you out, okay? Because unless you're trying to be the third motherfucking husband, leave me alone. Um, <laughs> but other than that, I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Um, key note that I really want you to take away from today is live for you knowledge is key we only get one life all right um other than that i will see y'all later and jump on this motherfucker if i can twitch i'm playing fucking mario karts <laughs>